Hello, Namaste. Welcome or welcome back to Greet Arrow. So, how are you? I hope you are doing good. I hope it's an amazing day. So, if you're new here, if you like my content, please support my channel. If you have already supported me, thank you so very much for all the love and the support. So, in the description box, I have my Instagram page link. If you want to follow me there, go ahead and give it a follow and the decks that I'm using today will also be listed. So the topic for today is what you don't see coming that's happening in your life. Um, so as you can see, there are three groups to choose from. And um, yeah, as I'm traveling, I don't have the crystals with me. So I hope you can choose with these images, but just go with your uh, gut feeling, with your intuition. Okay, so for group number one, we have the witch heart. For group number two, it's the full moon and for group number three, it's the heel. So look at the images. If there is a particular uh, object that catches your eyes, that, you know, if you feel like it's yours, just, just, just go with it. Don't think too much. Okay. The more you think that's when I feel like um, you choose a pile that is not yours. Okay. So, yeah. So one, two, three. So take your time. Pause the video. Uh, and remember these are general readings so they go to resonates and leave the rest behind guys and these are timeless readings as well so whenever you watch this reading might have a message for you and i'm going to start with group number one group number one if you have chosen the witch heart let's see what is the message for you guys uh, it feels like the moon faces so what you don't see coming as changes is definitely going to happen in your life a lot of changes it's just a phase if you are not happy right now I feel like that what you don't see coming is like this is just a uh, temporary temporary thing right now and things are going to change for you guys uh, again it feels like the heart is heart has an eye and it's open so somehow somewhere you have closed that eye in your heart you're not doing what's best for you you are taking care of other people's need but sometimes we don't take care of our own needs sometimes we don't have time for ourselves isn't it uh, because we are so involved in pleasing others we are so involved in doing what other people wants us to do that we shut our own heart and do something what others want us to do and right now maybe you're in this phase of your life and uh, that's why you're not feeling that happy uh, yeah sometimes sometimes we feel like we should be happy here because everyone is a uh, helps us happy so we kind of try to force us to be happy and it doesn't work out right because inside we know that we are not happy and for some of you that is the face maybe everything outside of you is looking good but inside there is like this empty feeling and that's going to change for you guys that's what you're not seeing something is going to open maybe for some of you aligning with your purpose higher calling that is something I'm seeing here something that makes you happy you are going to find that for some of you it can be uh, a small thing that you're going to find out that will make you very very happy or maybe you're going to meet someone that will actually under make you understand so much about yourself maybe they will open your heart uh, so the thing that is that you don't see happening is like you're going to open your heart you're going to see actually what your heart actually wants because you have been seeing the world from other people's view right this is how you have to live this is what you want now what's happening is what's changing for you guys that you're not seeing is like you're going to look at your at your own heart and see that this is not what my heart wants this is not what my soul wants i want something different i don't want to live my life this way because in the past i thought that i have to live like this then only i will be happy but that concept is changing that's what it is happening this is a big change i feel like that it's 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 it feels like some of you um something is changing inside of you inside your heart the way you used to see things is not going to be the way you're going to see things ahead. Something, something major will happen in your life that will open you, that will awake, awake you in a way. That will make you realize, yeah, this is, this is not what I want. This is not making me happy. Yeah, everything outside looks fine. Everything is good. Everyone is happy, but, but I'm not happy here, right? So that's something I'm getting here. It can be a simple, simple thing as well. It can be a small thing as well that will give you a lot of joy, that you will start doing, right? That's something I'm seeing here. And it is going to change a lot in your life. It can be a small thing. It will start with a small thing, but it will have a very big impact in your life. It will, it will bring a big change as you move forward. That's what I feel like. 
And I have to say that your heart is safe, you're safe, you're protected. Even though sometimes we don't feel that, but you are, okay? So let's see. More, what you don't see coming, okay? Group number one, what you don't see coming. It's a lot. Uh, what they don't see coming, okay. Okay, so yeah, underneath the lizard skin, again, again, it feels like you're wearing a skin that is not even yours and it's time to remove that skin, right? Underneath the little skin, little, uh, lizard skin, there is the, the you oh, who has a lot of things to do, right? It's, it's, it's just wearing a mask, wearing a skin, right? That's not yours and it's time to remove that. Again, with this witch heart also, that was the feeling I was getting here, right? You you have worn a mask because you feel like that's how life should be. That's how you have to act. That's how you have to do things. That That's how things are. Because it can be a form of social conditioning that our parents has given to us, right? We feel like that. This is how we have to live our life. Otherwise, we will not be happy. And... Uh, and the more you're doing that, yeah, everything is working out. Maybe the things that your parents wanted, you're doing it. And that's also a good thing. I'm not saying it's not a good thing. But here, somehow you are understanding that this thing is not making you that happy. And yes, you don't have to abandon everything that you have created. That's not what I'm saying. Yes, you can go with it. But you will be finding some little joys that you, that will make you more open. That's what I'm seeing here. And as you find those little joys in your life, as you start pursuing that, you will see that you will automatically shed the skin that you don't need. You're carrying so much of skin that you don't need in a way. And it's time to remove that. Right? Because underneath the lizard skin is the real you that you're not showing and I feel like what you don't see coming is you are going to express yourself more as you f because you're going to find something that that lifts you up that makes you more open or maybe you will find someone who will lift you up or make you more open make you understand more about yourself right because maybe that you will meet this person and first time maybe you will not like it because they will they will kind of trigger you but as they trigger you, you will understand so much about yourself, why you act certain way, why you do this, right? And as you understand that, you will be ready to shed the skin because you don't even realize how you are stopping yourself from your own growth, how you're stopping yourself from receiving the good things, right? That you want, somehow you are. And I feel like that's what you're releasing. It feels like the sake snake energy because that's that's what I feel like. It's it, it feels like regeneration. That's what is happening. Understanding more about yourself, expressing more. As we understand so many patterns, you know, sometimes because of certain patterns, certain certain past events, we kind of repeat the same cycle. And here you are understanding why this cycle is happening. You're opening up to new things. It's, it feels like an awakening for many of you, right? Awakening to new things, understanding so much deeply that you, you didn't understood before, right? Maybe people might have told you before, like change this habit, do this, but you didn't understand it. But now you're going to understand that's what you are being told here. You're going to understand your, yourself. It feels like you're going to understand yourself somehow. You, know, you have not completely understood your own soul in a way because we are so, so outside of our self, isn't it? So that's why the connection that we had with ourselves is lost. You know, when we are kids, we are so connected with ourselves. We do what's best, what, what we feel like. Then later in our life, we are told we have to do this, we have to act certain way. And that's when we start wearing a mask, isn't it? And that's why we have to, maybe the, your parents were very strict and uh, they have certain rules, so you had to follow it. And maybe your soul was not meant for that. Maybe your heart didn't want that, right? And finally, you are going to find something that your heart gives. Like, it will it'll make you very happy. That's that's what your heart is craving. That, that That's what it is. Okay, so let's see what you don't see coming. It can be something, a passion, something. Something is happening that will make you very happy in a way, I have to say. That will make you understand a lot of, a lot about your patterns yourself. So 
so you can you're, you will be ready to remove the skin and uh, see things from a new new viewpoint okay so let's see what else you don't see coming group number one yeah you're healing that's what it is happening rest look you're healing you're healing you're healing that uh, the things that made you feel like you have to wear this mask and you the things that made you feel like you have to be hyper independent or you felt like i have to be dependent on someone it's all changing that's what you're healing you're healing you're in a healing journey group number one your heart is healing that's what i have to say and that's why you're going to remove the mask that is not even yours uh, carrying the responsibilities that is not even yours you're going to remove that you're going to understand so much about yourself you're going to yeah you're going to understand more about yourself as you're in this healing journey so right now if things are not going the way you want don't worry guys there is so much more <laughs> uh, so just rest right now uh, don't worry i have to say if you're worrying okay yeah look again with the devil energy some of your own patterns that is stopping your growth because we we were told this is the correct thing but maybe our soul is not aligning with us so it, it feels like you're healing your own devil side in a way <laughs> you know some some sort of behaviors that is not good for us you're healing it if this is uh, this this might trigger someone but if you have self harm something like that i feel like you're healing that as well if you kind of uh, harm yourself in many ways or maybe for some of you don't even realize how you harm yourself in some ways you're going to understand that and you're going to heal the moment you understand that you heal it isn't it the cycle only repeats when we don't understand but when we have this deeper understanding we we kind of uh, uh release that pattern and i feel like something that you you there was a pattern or a behavior that you didn't see that you're going to see and as you see you heal it and that's why that's why you will be removing that skin so some sort of behavior that was putting you in a stuck place like maybe same patterns in relationship same pattern cycle in your career you're understanding your own pattern that you carried from your past right because of certain things that happened and maybe you had a coping mechanism that was not at all good for you you're understanding it very very clearly and you're releasing it and you're healing it that's what is happening okay what you don't see coming okay we have a lot of cards on the floor let me take it in a second guys the two cards that came the death and the six of wands yes you are ending a pattern in your life and you're going to be victorious this cycle this you know this devil energy it's some sometimes i feel like it's it's an us some sort of pattern some sort of behavior that is not good for us we kind of repeat it right you're putting an end to it as you awaken your own heart right you're seeing ah this this habit of mine this thinking of mine this negative thinking is not actually uh, that's the reason that is stopping me from the things that i want to enjoy in my life that's why that's why my heart is not happy and as you realize it what you're ending that that thing right with this death card and that's where the healing is happening right you're ready to remove the skin you're ending this one phase and now you're moving on to this this place where you're understanding your patterns and you're not repeating it and you're you're getting the victory over this thing this behavior whatever it is over this devil thing right that's the that's the that's the message here group number group number 1 <laughs> once we understand about our heart things become easy and that's what i feel like and you have three major arcana card this is a major realization that is happening and that's why you are going to uh, end that pattern and heal it yeah sorry we have two major arcana is not three <laughs> two that and the devil right yeah ending a pattern a cycle that has been making you feel stuck 
making you feel like you have to wear a mask and show up even though you don't want to show up right some sort of toxic patterns or maybe there is a person in your life that has been very toxic you are finding victory and you are ending that chapter that can be the thing as well so let's see what is the message that what you don't see coming what you don't see coming Wow, yeah, the confidence in you is going to rise with the solar plexus chakra. Again, we have the number four, actually, uh, two, two eyes, right? Maybe you're someone who's seen a lot of four, four, fours. And again, an illumination to your own power, to your own self, who you are, why you are uh, not feeling confident, why you kind of self-sabotage yourself. You're all, you're finding victory over these things. You're getting that confidence. So again, trust your gut feeling because that, gives you the answer that you need always trust your gut that is also something i am i'm feeling here and yes you're going to shine that's what the confidence in you is rising <laughs> that's 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 the message here a group number one so let's see the final message for you guys with this animal deck animal spirit deck final messages for group number one oh wow we have the zebra and again the cosmic egg here again the yeah the shedding of the skin right mm -hmm. and the zebra and again you know the black and white your understanding your own your own behaviors there is this duality right you're understanding the patterns and again with this third eye opening you're understanding so much about yourself and that's why you're able to let go of certain things with this death card. You're able to let go of certain things that has been stopping you from attaining your, uh, your higher desires. Yeah, you're understanding that. And I feel like a new beginning is happening for you guys and you'll be protecting that egg. In, in a way, this, this snake feels like protecting this egg. So you are protecting uh, what, you know, it feels like you're protecting your heart. You know you know um, what kind of patterns is not helping you at all and you're protecting yourself from it by releasing those patterns and for some of you you are protecting yourself from the toxic people because you're awakening to your own power you're understanding the to toxic people toxic yeah toxic uh, things that is that is not helping you in your growth and you're actually freeing yourself and you're protecting this new, new this new energy that you're going to be in you're going to protect your heart that's what it feels like okay so group number one that's that's the message i received for you guys hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i will see you soon bye bye take care the mistake group number two if you have chosen the full moon let's see what you don't see coming okay the full moon energy right the light is shining look at that the light is shining so you can expect one of your manifestations happening a magical manifestation happening that's what i'm getting here so maybe for some of you you um uh, you might have uh, been uh, trying to manifest something in your life and you have been very stuck with that manifestation maybe you try and it doesn't happen but i feel like for some of you you have already let go of it and i see that as you're letting go of it this manifestation is coming very soon okay so and uh, maybe by the next full moon you will have a harvest that you have been waiting for that's what you're not seeing it seeing so that's a beautiful thing right yes so let's see because full moon is all about the time of harvest like you have been working on something and finally you're getting the wish fulfillment in a some yeah some sort of wish is coming true that you have been waiting for magically maybe for some of you have already lost hope that it's not going to come but it's happening so let's see what else what you don't see coming roof number two what you don't see coming okay you have two cards if the fox can't find its his tail mm -hmm. and let your dreams be woven true again this is a confirmation that your dreams will be woven true but if you are like right you know um if you're right now a little bit like the fox who is trying to not find his tail right so it's it's time to 
center yourself ground yourself that's very important guys okay because some of you are losing hope whether this dream of mine will come true whether this manifestation will i see this manifestation ever so there is this kind of thinking pattern so uh, maybe you're doubting this thing maybe you're questioning this thing you think maybe you're in this state of mind where you think that nothing happens for me nothing is uh, coming coming into fruition yeah i will always wait only i never have the things that i want in my life if you are in that kind of energy get out of it get out of it guys right that's very important here if you are doing that get out of this negative thinking because things are actually going to be coming true the dreams that you've been weaving that you know it's going to come true so be more positive be more optimistic <laughs> that's what it is and embrace your own uniqueness that's also very important be the person you are uh yeah comparison if you are comparing your your journey to anyone that is not going to work out for you guys in your favor if you do that so it's more important to be the unique self you are to appreciate the unique person you are yeah sometimes there will be people who will not appreciate you for the uniqueness you have right and that's okay it's because they they might be projecting their fear onto you you don't have to take that release that don't put too much expectation uh too much expectations on you right sometimes it's so heavy let, you know let go of those expectations one by one and work on yourself keep on building uh good habits have a routine keep yourself grounded practice more positive affirmations uh, practice gratitude that's all you need to do and as you do it you will see that your wishes are coming true one 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 at a time you know all your wishes will be open true that's what the message is yes okay so let's see things are actually coming together for you guys so don't lose your charm be more maybe for some of you are losing that positivity and here spirit your spirit team is telling you that don't uh, so let's see and with the fox in energy i feel like the fox is peeking here there is a fox here as well <laughs> if you look at it you picking and you looking when 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 my dreams are going to tr uh, be true when 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 <laughs> don't be so caught up on the when that is also important the more we focus on the when that's when it takes more time because we are so focused when this will happen when this will happen instead of enjoying the journey we kind of start focusing on when how let go of that how when just keep on doing what you're doing don't lose faith because this is the dreams that you want again the full moon was also talking about the huge manifestations and again with this let your dreams be woven true so give that space you know give that um space right now again i have been talking that in my readings like the manifestations the more we try to think the more it goes away like i'll take an example of a person who you really like right so you are just going back every time you're sticking to that person you know that person will get tired of you and then whenever they see you they will kind of run away from you because you're not giving them the space and that's exactly here universe is telling you so maybe you have this dream and there is so much of negativity like thinking when this will happen how this will happen uh, will it, this will happen and uh, sometimes our impatience can can cause us a lot of suffering and you don't have to suffer like this that's what universe is telling you because your dreams are there you have uh, you are working towards it keep on working right so uh, i feel like you need to have more balance grounding your energy is very important group number 2 meditation i would recommend that whenever you are up in your thoughts meditate ground yourself and if you feel like you cannot meditate maybe walking in nature will be helpful or maybe doing some activities that releases your stress maybe drawing or painting or playing with kids or just doing nothing or if if it's sleeping then do that as well <laughs> okay so yeah so let's see what you don't see coming group number 2 yeah night of wands action yeah there is action happening things are coming but for some of you you want everything very fast and that's not how universe works right sometimes universe has to do certain things that we don't know right and sometimes universe gives us the best best better than we think universe gives us so just be a little bit more patient okay that's very important the action that you want the manifestation that you want it's happening
Yeah, look, we have the joy card coming out and we have the Queen of Wands energy. Yeah, yeah sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes things take time for a reason because sometimes if we get things very quickly, sometimes uh, that's not the way, you know, because the universe has to uh, make us understand certain things in our life. And this re the reason there is a little bit delay in your manifestation is to make you understand. It's to humble you down because you will be humbled uh, because of this weight, because of the patience that the universe is teaching you. So uh, this is only for your own good. Sometimes we don't understand. And uh, if, you, if you have gotten this manifestation quicker, you would not be this happy, this grateful. So the reason is that only. Okay, so... So don't worry, this is for your own good. This is to build your own character, uh, to make you more strong. Mm, yeah, and that's the exact reason why <laughs> your, your dreams are uh, not happening fast enough as you want. That's the reason. But this is going to happen and you, when this will happen, you will understand so much that how much you have grown. Yeah, everything was happening actually. You were developing your character. Everything was happening. But sometimes when we are so caught up on the dream, we don't see that how much we are changing, how much good things have been happening. We don't see that. So when, so here, look at that. Yeah. And uh, with this gear of wands energy, I feel like you're becoming a very strong, independent person. Uh, you are, you're getting in touch with your passion. You're becoming more sure about yourself, right? This is all was needed. That's why you, this manifestation took time. And when this will happen, it will bring so much of joy and happiness, not only into your life, in other people's life as well. That's what I feel like, okay? So let's see what else. What you don't see coming in with number two. evolution look yeah this is for your own growth guys there is no doubt if your manifestation is not happening the so fastly that as you want it's because for your own growth that's the only reason don't worry because this thing is already manifested it's there universe is ready to deliver to you but they're just waiting for your own growth your own evolution because you are here to be the skewn of wands you are here to be the independent person and if you if they will give you this manifestation right now maybe you will not use it the way it does need, it, you know, it will not bring that much potential, that much uh, happiness into your life. So that's why it's taking a little bit of time. And as you, as you understand so much things, right, you will evolve as a soul. And when this manifestation will happen, you will be so, so grateful. Otherwise, you will, you know, the, the reason it didn't happen so fast is because you will not be this grateful. <laughs> that's the reason, you know, every, this is for your own, own growth. That's what you're not seeing right now. I feel like that. So don't worry. Don't worry about your dreams because it's definitely happening because the confirmation was with this card, this full moon card. There were, uh, there were uh, so many confirmation. I feel like this is for your own growth with the skewer of wands and evolution card. That's what I feel like. And let's see the final message here for group number two. Yeah, lizard. Wow. And lizard, you know, yeah, sometimes the regeneration, we don't understand our own power sometimes. You know, a lizard cuts their tail when they feel threatened, right? And it regrows, they heal and it regrows. So that's the feeling here. Sometimes uh, this impatience, you know, the weight will teach you so much that you will not learn if you get this thing very fast, right? It will not, you will not evolve. So that's the only reason this uh, manifestation of yours is taking time. So don't worry, this manifestation will happen no matter what. So don't be so caught up on the timing. Rather work on yourself, enjoy the journey. Don't beat yourself up. Be more op optimistic because this, uh, this thing that you want, this manifestation that you want is definitely going to happen. And it will bring a lot of joy into your life. And you will look at yourself and you will be like, yes, thank God it didn't happen because otherwise I wouldn't have grown this much. I wouldn't have understood this much. I, yeah, that, that's what the message is here, group number two. So you don't have to worry about anything. Enjoy your life right now. Don't worry. Don't beat yourself for small, small things. Uh, and uh, the imperfections you have, 
embrace it, right? And as you embrace those imperfections, that's when the magic happens. <laughs> that's when you understand and, and you know you will be able to give your best. That's what it feels like. Don't be so focused on perfectionism. That's also something I'm seeing, hearing here, okay? So that's all I have for group number two. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Take care. So group number three, if you have chosen the heel card. Okay, so here spirit is telling you that you are at the correct time, at the correct place. Don't worry. That's what you're not seeing right now. Okay. And here with the snail, yes, things, things are slow. Things are slow. Things are not moving fast enough and and the spirit guides are telling you that you have been patient for so long but healing sometimes it takes time right but you are understanding so much uh, so much about yourself you're, you're moving forward even though you don't you're not seeing it right now but you are definitely moving forward okay so that's one thing spirit wants wants you to know so enjoy your life sometimes it's difficult because when we are expecting something and it's not happening it can be disheartening but you hear your spirit guides and spirit team is ensuring that things are moving forward. You are moving forward. Things are happening for your own good. So don't worry. If things have been a little slow, if things have been a little stuck, if you have feel if you if you feeling if you're feeling like you go two steps forward and five steps backward, don't worry. Things will things are things are happening. That's what I feel like. Uh, spirit team is like kind of uh, giving you a hug right now telling you that everything will be all right so be open to receive the good things in your life don't close off okay don't get too pessimistic i know that you're very optimistic people but sometimes i can understand you very well you know sometimes when things don't happen we are very patient but then also we don't see things happening uh, sometimes it's disheartening but it's okay because there is some sort of healing is happening that you're not seeing and it's important for your own growth with the snake also i feel like that and you will reach your potential you will understand so much about yourself why you had to go through what you're going through right now so healing journey takes time that's that's what i feel like spirit is telling you and you're healing right now so don't worry okay be, uh, again you are patient i feel like you're very patient people be more patient <laughs> that's that's what the message is things are happening for your own good that's what i feel like spirit was spirit is telling you today that's that's the thing you are and i even feel like spirit is mentioning that you're you're not where you started so whenever you feel like that you're not moving forward look back and see when where, where you started you have come a long way right so so understand that so whenever you feel like comparing yourself to other people compare yourself to yourself and you will know that how far you have come uh yeah so yeah i feel like you're in this middle way you're not where you want to reach but you are in the middle you will reach there okay slowly but surely so let's see what you don't see coming group number two group number, sorry group number three what you don't see coming A fire bird is called to soar. Oh, time to feed the hungry heart. Again, the heart, right? It's time to feed your heart with a lot of love, with a lot of compassion, with a lot of kindness. Um, right now, today, if your heart is craving some sweet, give that to that heart. If your heart is craving some free time, give that to your heart. That's how you open your heart, right? And your heart, when, when you kind of feed all the good things to your heart, you know where you need to move forward. You know where you need to take that first step. You know when you need to react, when you need to respond. You know everything. So feed that hungry heart, that love, that compassion, that kindness. Be more optimistic about yourself. Start loving. I feel like your spirit is telling you that uh, you need to love yourself more. And as you love yourself more, you will see that how much confidence you have and you can conquer anything in your life right so that's what the message is and i feel like what you don't see is like uh, your your confident self because that's who you are becoming you have already changed a lot and now you're becoming the best version of yourself that's that's what is happening you're you're going to be unstoppable that's what i feel like when you want something you're going to feed your hungry heart with that you will have that kind of uh, confidence you will have that in you you will have every resource in order to feed whatever your heart wants that's what you don't see that see you will have the potential and you're going to make all your dreams come true group number three you need to understand that 
whatever your heart is heart craves you will get everything you will feed it so give that kindness compassion to yourself don't be so high you know up in your thoughts don't be don't feel like that you cannot do this you have limitations no if you want something you can have it that's what spirit is telling you right now so let's see what else for group number 3 Wow, we have speed. Okay, I was talking about uh, patience and all, slow but steady. So things are moving forward. Things are moving forward. So give that compassion, kindness to your heart. Do something what your heart is telling you. Um, maybe your heart is telling you, let's go to shopping today. Go and <laughs> give that. Maybe your heart is telling, let's sleep today. Maybe your heart is telling you, let's talk to this person today. Go and do that. Feed. what your heart actually wants guys what do you feel like doing today do that that do that today as you give that give more to your own heart you will see that you are able to give more to other people as well and as you do that things that you want are going to come at a greater speed okay so again so if you have been waiting if you have feeling like you are on the snail energy you what you don't see coming is like things moving forward the speed is coming for some of your travel if you're manifesting travel that's going to happen out of nowhere you will be traveling okay and again maybe there is some area in your life where you're feeling lacking where your heart is not full where your heart is hungry yes for some of you there is a specific area in your life where your heart is feeling very hungry right you're trying to feed that heart but it's nothing is happening you're always hungry in that area there is some changes happening things are moving forward where you will be able to uh able to feed that hungry heart <laughs> that's what the message is okay that's what you're not seeing so something is happening soon for you guys so just just feed your heart with a lot of love compassion <laughs> that's what you need to do okay and as you do that you will you are already on this healing journey and as you feed your your heart with a lot of love compassion you know the love that other people has not given you give it to yourself and that's how you will grow and that's how you will become this fire bird who can do anything whatever they want they can achieve so yeah wow the wheel is turning in your favor so you have been feeling like you're out of luck for so if you have been feeling like that things are changing in your favor the luck is on your side things are happening the way your heart wants <laughs> you will be finding yourself at the right time at the right place guys you're getting luckier that's what you're not seeing here so you have been stuck you have been feeling stuck in your healing journey you have been feeling like the more you open nothing happens but you have been feeling your heart if you have been feeling your heart with all the love mm -mm -mm, things are changing things are turning in your favor luck is in your side group number 3 that's amazing news here so don't worry things are changing for the better okay one more card from the tarot oh inspiration again king of cups so the balance the order things are becoming in or becoming there has been some chaos in your life or maybe your heart has been feeling a little bit chaotic and because the things haven't been moving forward that the way your heart wanted that's why there was chaos and now uh as i told you will be finding yourself at the right time at the right place and that's how you are going to balance those energies and things are balancing your heart is in balance and you will be able to feed the hungry heart with all the things that you want right that's the message here and things are coming in order order you're protected you're safe if you're traveling you're protected you're safe don't worry okay so that's what the message is so let's see what else what you don't see coming group number 3 healing wow yes things have been slow things have been slow for you guys i get it the reason was healing that's what you're not seeing and now also you're healing you're healing again the word healing you're healing you're healing every area of your life you're healing your childhood area everything that has happened you're actually healing you're understanding so much 
and yes you were in this healing journey healing takes time and finally i feel like things are moving forward with this eight of wands energy you i feel like your end of your healing journey and again i have to say we constantly heal healing is a process but finally i feel like in, uh, there might be a specific area in your life that you were working on and things had been very slow there and in that particular area things are moving forward because you're healing you're at in that area yeah it can be any area relationship career finances but you have been struggling in this area in that particular area your heart was hungry right you're not able to get what you wanted right you were not you were feeding it but you, your heart, heart was always hungry and find you're healing that and now you will get what you want and your heart will be very satisfied very happy that's what the message is and this is beautiful so and again we have the freedom yeah you're freeing yourself from some sort of limitation that was stopping you yeah that's that's what you were healing something something was stopping you it was the pattern you're healing that pattern now things are moving forward here you become again there is change again there was this dragon fly you're getting the in, independence that you wanted maybe financial independence maybe independence in relationship something was there and you're getting that freedom group number 3 wow so let's see the final message for group number wow spider yeah again uh, you have been weaving something right you have been working on something with this eight of pentacles energy i'm feeling a person who has been working so hard right they have been working they have been patient they have been working on themselves but they are not seeing the growth right <laughs> but they don't understand they you know but what you were not seeing right what you were not seeing is like you have done so much work and you will get the results you are getting the results right with this spider you have weaven you have even now it's time to shine and uh, i feel like you're very very connected to universe your intuition is very strong trust that as well and yes your work is going to be recognized you will be appreciated yeah maybe that is the thing that's that's why your heart is very hungry because you're not you're not getting the recognition that you deserve but that's happening the, your hard work people will see how much hard work you have done right now maybe people are not seeing that right <laughs> and sometimes it's this it's not doesn't satisfy our soul it feels ang hungry but yes the hard work that you have done it's going it's going to be recognized the hungry heart is going to be fed well fed and it's going to be happy <laughs> that's what you're healing you're healing your heart group number 3 okay for some of you maybe in your relationship there has been a lack in that area things were going to be uh fulfilling maybe you have been doing the work and you will see the change for some of you it can be in your financial area for others it can be in your personal growth yeah for some of you have been working on your inner child and uh, you will see the change so that's that's what it is and again travel if there has been a manifestation regarding your travel that's happening so that's all i have for group number 3 hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't i'll see you soon bye bye take care